Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very special, very important, very well edited Tuesday video. Welcome to a very special, very fun, very highly awaited Tuesday video. Oh, and that is, of course, the Spring 2022 Trend Report. Brings me so much joy to be able to finally talk about nicer weather and nicer weather clothing. I was like busting out and, the sweater vest for a video. And dresses again, and swimwear again, and I think colors. I did this in the fall video too. Floral. Versatile garments that are applicable to many seasons. I'm so excited. Here, right now, it is not yet feeling like spring even though spring started what like the 21st or 20th i think it started on the 20th 20th 21st one of those days and mm, <sighs> it still feels like i'm running a little late it's cold out still it was like 15 degrees the other day but Ooh. we are i think in like a week finally getting some spring weather so i cannot wait i need a tan we usually try to like do them like a little before the season starts but i think like it was just hard for us to get into the spring mental state when i'm still it, figuring out what coat i'm gonna wear out when i go out it's hard to like do dress research when I'm in like a puffer, I'm just sitting there like <laughs> freeze. <laughs> you can't like put your hands away in your life. <laughs> but of course, as we always do with the trend reports, we try to dress in the garb of the trends. <sighs> so we're not gonna tell you yet what they are, but see if you can kind of pick up throughout the video what trends we kind of put on. For once, we're kind of like fitting the same we trend. We kind of match. Whereas usually we kind of do different ones. We do kind of match. This is got a little purple. My new sweater from Ryan for my birthday. And as always with our trend reports, we don't just focus on runways and high-end brands. We don't just focus on like the girlies and the TikTokers and the like little trendy girlies. Though they do have a big influence, I will say. And Many of these things I have seen on the teenagers that I had done work with in the past. <laughs> and we don't just focus on bloggers. I will say bloggers is kind of like our more focus. Like we focus more on that. Yeah. But we do mix it all together. So mm. all of that is in here. I feel like the bloggers take the things that are applicable to the regular people and wear them in ways that is new. As usual with a trend report, that means that in one week we are going to be doing the trend R and D, which means we go, go to MOA or the Mall of America, because of course we're in Minnesota, and we are going to look for all the trends in everyone's favorite stores like Anthropology, Madewell, Free People, Urban Outfitters, it's Nordstrom. It's fun to sneak around the mall and film and hope the poor mall employees don't yell at us. It is. It's a good time. It is fun. That'll be coming in a week next Tuesday, and we are right. pumped about that. But before we can do that, of course, we have to tell you what the trends are. So I suppose yes. we should jump in to the 2022 Spring Trend Report. As per usual, we have broken down the trends by categories, starting from like the top of the body all the way down to the bottom. And then since it's spring, we have thrown in swim, which obviously does not always make an appearance, but it's spring, so it is. She swapped out coats yes. for fall and winter. So first off, we are starting with the accessories and jewelry. And category for, is jewelry. For us, usually that is quite a small category because I just don't find much information on it. But for once, I will say I have a little bit of info to give you guys. Gold jewelry is still really popular. Gold jewelry has been in for like years. At this point, literally it's been like three years of our trend reports that it seems like we're saying chunky gold jewelry. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. It's still very it's popular. It's not going anywhere. I don't have any today. But another thing that is trendy now is a multicolored gem details. So it's almost like a gold chain necklace with maybe like a green stone here, a red stone here, and like a blue stone there. Think of those Betsy Johnson necklaces at TJ Maxx. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that it's far. It's like a kaleidoscope of color. <laughs> but just some like colored details added into your gold jewelry. Also, simple cuff bracelets are very popular, which I feel like those are quite often this very popular. Cuff. Like the Cartier Love Screen. Cuff, or there's like a Tiffany one that looks like tees and like our men of course makes them. The Those clack. are very popular, mainly in gold. And also beaded jewelry that looks like it's made by children. So we are both- I, I have guess, a beaded bracelet on for like my that. Friend. Yes, this is from our friend- Regina. Regina. So <sighs> thank you, Regina, for this. But these are very popular to the point of like brands that use expensive stones and stuff are making it to look like it's made by children. Like it mm -hmm. looks like it's play beads or like it's faux pearls, the but they're by expensive brand. Like friendship bracelets you used to like make your friends in like grade school like high-end brands are starting to make those so i don't know if you want to start making those and sell them on your posh or if you find them in the thrift store i guess like those are a trend then we also can report on 
and sunglasses this time. Slim and smaller plastic sunglasses. Not necessarily like that matrix look, but definitely like smaller is what I was seeing a lot of. Kind of more square-ish or oval, not as big a like circles. The Celine sunglasses have finally met the ones <laughs> that are just car hoods. I like big sunglasses. I like them because I use them when I drive. And then sporty <laughs> sunglasses. Think about your Maui gyms and stuff. But like- There's one really popular brand of like sport sunglasses that are like the polarized. And I can't think of the name of them, but oh my God, I see them everywhere on Instagram all the time. I know that Moschino and Stella McCartney have made a number of like sporty looking sunglasses. And those are really popular right now. I think it just fits the kind of like more square slim look that a lot of people are wearing. That is it for the accessories and jewelry. So now moving on to the top. Tops, the jackets, and the dresses. The dresses. Cutout details are extremely, extremely popular. I even put a star by this because it is just like everywhere. They are. Cutouts. I'm talking like cutouts on each side where it's kind of like you have like a mid cutout or even just asymmetrical cutouts that go across. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like just on the leg, sometimes it's just on one side. Anything that has been like cut out in some way. Take is a garment. Chop. So popular. Go. It's really, really, really popular in dresses, but of course it's mm -hmm. also popular with tops or like thin sweaters. Ribbed and knit dresses are still very popular. We saw this last year too, but those are still everywhere. Ones that are sleeveless, ones that have like a turtleneck, and then ones that still have kind of that polo collar. That is yeah. very popular too. Intimate style dresses, like slip dresses, or almost like think like vintage Christian Dior, like nightgown slip dresses. Mm. But you wear them like out or to an event or something. That is very popular. I think the people wearing them over the t-shirts, I think that's kind of gone. Yeah. You can take the t-shirt off. It's though. more just you wear them as like a going out slip dress. Yes. And I think that kind of stems off of like the Y2K that we've been seeing a lot. That was very popular in like the 90s and the early 2000s. So mm -hmm. I think that's where that is coming from. It can be lace trim. It can be the dainty little like bow, like lace. <laughs> Also strap details to dresses. So just kind of like random straps added in. So like think you have like a V dress. There's also just like kind of like a little strap that goes above the There's a little boob strap. Yeah, or like Fun. straps that maybe kind of like tie at the arms. Just a lot of little like strap details that don't really serve a utilitarian purpose, but they're just they're there just as a there. cute little detail. Crochet is very popular too. This was really, really popular last year too. Mm -hmm. So I'm not surprised that it's still popular. Anything crochet, whether it be like the medallion kind of classic crochet look the floral or if it's all like the same color but it's mm -hmm. just that macrame kind of crochet look. i love a macrame vibe super popular in dresses very popular in skirts which we'll be getting to popular in sweaters popular in sweater vests like anything crochet corset tops are very popular <laughs> So like a top with like a corset detail or just kind of like some boning here to make it look like a corset, very popular. Mm -hmm. That's popular in tops, that's popular in dresses and in body suits as well. And then sporty and preppy looks, which I feel like we've seen throughout a couple seasons, including like fall and winter. That is very, very, very popular. And this is one where I think it reaches like all ends of the spectrum, bloggers, yes. girlies, absolutely does. runways, us. Uh, right now. This is kind of the one that inspired my look more. That means like varsity style sweaters with like a big patch or there's kind of like this trim look, polo style tops or dresses that kind of just look like long polo shirts. Very popular. I think my mom had one of those back in the day. I should still just bust that out. She'll be so popular. <laughs> Sweater vests, whether it have like a little embroidery here or not. Of course, cable knit and stuff white sneakers, which we're not in shoes oh, yet, but I don't have shoes on. anything sporty, <laughs> this applies to like all categories. And that is it for the tops, jackets, and dresses. So what are you gonna wear with these tops and jackets and shirts? Well, let me tell you, jeans, kind of terrifying. Low rise jeans are starting to have this like little trendy moment. Obviously like most regular people aren't gonna be sporting a pair of low rise jeans, but like those really high fashion-y trendy people, more part two, yeah. I think Mew Mew kind of brought those back with these like teeny little itty bitty like mini, 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 mini skirts, which is also another really big trend. 
the mini skirt or the micro skirt if you're looking really trendy. Again, with a low waist. It almost literally Very just looks high. like a sensor bar covering your It's literally like region. you took one paper towel's length of fabric and just went whoop and then put a staple on the inside. And there she is. Straight and wide leg jeans, kind of like we have been seeing for the past couple of trend reports. They are also very popular. Also with like the baggy kind of like carpentry, like the think dad jeans, like the Levi's dad jean is always a good staple. Baggier, kind of like looser fit jeans. And I think people pair them with like a tighter fitting top or like a top that isn't like as big as this one, probably like something a little like more cropped. Baggy flowy pants also are very popular. I think like baggy dress pants, like Lady Gaga's Marc Jacobs runway suit that she wore to that award show. Oh, so pretty. Big balloony dress pants, big flowy, nice leisurely pants. Sometimes they can be like printed or like traditional dress pant colors or styles. Some of them can have pleats. Some of it can be flat front. I think the baggy and flowy pants, that can be high rise, mm -hmm. but that can also be mid and low. So that didn't really like, it wasn't specifically like low flowy pants. No, the, they can that, be kind of whatever. Some of those definitely went a bit higher. Yes. Probably so they like stay on because they're already loose. Though so I like, have seen in terms of the jeans, the low rise, like baggy, think like the J-Lo's, the Aaliyah's, the TLC's of the world kind of wore those like little baggy, like hip hop kind of pants. That's kind of what they are. Mm -hmm. And I will say the low and mid, it definitely wasn't as much of a blogger thing. That was probably more the like young, trendy, girly yeah. type look. So next on to the shoes. So in the shoes, we saw a lot of trends that once again, we have seen for a couple years or a couple seasons. So square toe sandals are super in again. We're not seeing the point. We're not seeing the rounded. Give them little piggies some room to breathe. Very, very popular <laughs> is the square toe. And actually more specifically, a very, very popular style of sandal and it actually applies to a very recent top 10 bolo that we did hmm. is the Attico style sandals and if you don't remember them there are pictures being posted here <laughs> but it's like a square toe sandal that's almost like a mule style but of course with like open toes mm -hmm. and it has like a big wedge style heel so it's oh not Lord. a total wedge but it's like a wedge style chunky heel those are uber popular and it's not just Attico making them anymore like everybody's jumping on making those like even I saw Steve Madden and Sam Edelman ones you know it's Steve Madden's and the Sam Edelman's are making them yeah they have become completely kind mainstream. of like how they stole the Bottega Veneta's last year now they're stealing Oof. the Atticos <laughs> which it's I'm sure now. those Bottegas I think are still extremely popular and they yes. really fit this look too they're like mm -hmm. ultra square toe they're almost like a big wide rectangle I love a good rectangle yeah <gasps> squares. Geometric shapes. Geometric. Sharp edges. Cubular. <laughs> also, the lugged loafers are still in. We've seen this usually in like fall time for the past two years, but they're still popular, I guess, even this spring. Conservative and like plain Jane ordinary Mary style flats are God, really popular. She's really making an appearance this year. So, this ordinary Mary. <laughs> kind of think like Everlane. Hmm. Just more like Minimalist. business style, but you Minimalist. wear it with like cute looks. Yes. I think the article I read about these even called them like boring. I didn't want to use that word because like definitely you can, you can work them into something to make it not boring, but no. it's more just like plain or conservative or like reeled in, dialed back. Minimalist. And then and my last shoe that I found that I kind of want to put an asterisk by because this was on multiple articles, but I just don't know if I believe that I'm going to be seeing it everywhere. I don't know about these. I don't know about this. <sighs> the ballet flats. So... Uh, <laughs> I, I saw these actually in a lot of places. I didn't like see them with like a lot of like looks. Like it was more just like they showed like the Mew Mew model wearing it or like the Nordstrom listing for like a new pair that's really expensive. So I didn't see like, I didn't see the vision. I didn't see what you How would put that with. Style? But it was like the- Please not a pair of baggy jeans. It was oh, I'm like gonna die. the classic like Mary Jane like ballet flat. And it was on multiple articles. So I have to include it on here, but I would take that with a grain of salt. I guess we will see if this I'm is something that. that's actually gonna trend or if it's just like- Is a, it gonna stick? Let's a, find out. Like I just, I couldn't see it becoming popular again, but I also would have told you that I couldn't have seen the low rise becoming popular either. So we will- See where that takes Jury's out on the ballet flats. <laughs> I don't know. I've been putting pictures of the ones I saw online. So this is apparently the modern, new 
ballet flat, but we'll see. TBD. Okay, so what are you gonna carry with these fun little outfits in your little ballet flats? Um, what kind of bags are we gonna have? Again, small bags, baguettes, very popular. They have been for a while, and I don't really think they're going much of anywhere. I am interested to know why we don't have totes for the spring and the summer. Because why am I not, do I need, not, am I not gonna bring anything Is anywhere? my beach day canceled? I was gonna like... say, am I just supposed to bring like a Barbie towel? <laughs> That's not gonna drive me off. Shake it out and like, it's just one of those like little makeup like pads. <laughs> colors, very fun colors, very bright colors, very bold, very graphic, very printed, a lot of exotic looking fun things, which I think is kind of like always kind of what happens around spring and summer. Things just kind of get like, <laughs> think Liza Minnelli. Liza. As a bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Raffia is always really popular around the spring and the summer. This is no exception for this year. They are coming back. I didn't really see any of the big Raffia ones though. No. I saw those big Gucci ones that's like red and green but, but that's kind of it. yeah the raffia is kind of like there's some raffia baguettes and there's some like raffia kind of like little bucket bags that i saw but yeah it's just a bucket nothing it's huge. just uh, i don't would a small bucket bag be called a pail or a cup <laughs> the dixie cup bag oh my god that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take two paper clips and put them on a dixie cup Perfect. and walk around and them they're gonna be like trend they'll be like van mall literally Perfect. be like I made this in my house. <laughs> Small round half moon bags. Think that really popular Balenciaga bag that I can't remember the name of, where it's got that like whoop, really defined, a very pointy crescent shape at the bottom. And they come in every single variety of colors and skins and all these really fun things. And now we're getting more season specific. The swimwear. I love swimwear. I love picking it up. I love finding it. I love selling it. It's so much fun. Asymmetrical and cutouts, kind of like what we were seeing with the tops. Think like one pieces with like. Like just slits and cuts and things taken out of them, chunks bitten. She went swimming and got eaten by a shark. And but she, she said, made it and she's You know still what? This swimsuit was expensive. I'm still gonna wear it. <laughs> kind of like with the tops as well, the one shoulder kind of a moment, which I feel like is kind of a swim trend that we saw like maybe last year, the year before, and it's coming I back. I personally love one shoulder pieces. I we think were just really good. watching a YouTuber trying to put the dresses really last night. Yeah. And she got one prom dress that had like a one shoulder. It was and like a 90s it was, moment. It was really pretty. So cute. Like yeah. I really like it. Ruched for some reason is kind of coming back, but I feel like that's just kind of a thing with like swimwear. It's like obviously if you don't want anything like super skin tight and porn fitting, like we can give you some shape, but we can kinda, you know, do some strategic things. <laughs> Loud, colorful, and graphic, kind of like with the bags and everything else we've been talking about. This trend report are very popular. Some sorts, I think, kind of like take it a step up though. Like loud, loud. Like she's yelling at you. She's screaming. Yeah. More like multiple colors, not just one. Like just loud. Pew, 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 fireworks Which I and big I palm A nice loud swimsuit. Bunch of toucans flying all over your swimsuit. Oh, I love them. Yeah. And graphic swimsuits, I think, are kind of like starting to make this big full circle. I know they were popular like back in the day in like the 90s when like Chanel did the like Chanel tape swimsuits. I know like Gucci's been doing them for a few years. Versace has been doing them. But they're like printing the swimsuit and then they're like Versace. Mm -hmm. Which I think is really fun. Mm -hmm. I like them. So on to kind of like our little summary section where we talk about specifically the patterns, the colors, and the fabrics that do kind of apply to all of these categories. So if you haven't noticed, colorful. Loud. Lots and lots of colors. Yes. Lots of more like spring colors though, which makes sense because mm -hmm. it's spring, so brighter colors, yes. definitely. Um, I don't know if you noticed, because we didn't want to bring it up in these other categories, but if you have a good eye and you've been noticing these pictures, green, 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 green. there's this one shade of green. Neon, fluorescent green. is everywhere. It mm -hmm. touches every category, like literally every category. Some of the sandals were green, some of the bags were green, some of the sunglasses were green. Swimwear was green. Like this shade of green, Pantone needs to like revise it's the green. color of the year because that green was everywhere. It's green, green. But I also I noticed like a lot of pinks and blues. Definitely not as much as this freaking green, but the pinks and blues are pretty popular too. Loud colors. But lots of colors. Satin shoes, so like slick, silk looking shoes mm -hmm. were very popular. The sandals are very like smooth and satiny. Um, did I mention green? That's popular too. Even for the ribbed, shoes, green. Ribbed and knits, which is like for the dresses, for the sweaters, for the cable knits and that stuff. And then green. Green as well. Green is popular, if you didn't notice. Mm -hmm. So green, 
Yeah, it's kind of like tennis skirts. <laughs> anyway, so that is all of the trends that we spotted. I feel like this time, like some trends, we just have like lists of like a lot of things that don't really go together. Just like a lot of different random They're kind of like separates. This time, these, I feel these are like outfits. it was We're all very together. much more like condensed. Mm -hmm. Like everyone's kind of doing the same stuff and the same concept, mm -hmm. just like pairing them together differently. Like it was much more like tailored and condensed. I just yeah, feel like it definitely is. versus sometimes it's just all over the board. Like thirty things different things are kind of just thrown at the so. wall, and we're kind of seeing yeah. what sticks. This seems a little bit more cohesive. Let us know if you already have been picking up some of these trends because I know some of them are not particularly new, like no. preppy and stuff. And let us know if any of these are shocking to you <coughs> ballet flats or if some of them were predictable to you let us know green is also popular yes <laughs> we will final thoughts right. we will see you on thursday for part two, part two of, 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 of last thursday's haul and then you won't want to miss it next tuesday we're gonna go be finding some green at Mall of America, I'm going to get something green. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to buy something green. We will hunt out all of these trends. And I know the last time we went there, like a couple weeks ago, I definitely saw a few of these. So mm -hmm. we will be hunting out these trends with you guys. And we'll take you along on a little vlog through Mall of America. It's going to be so much fun. So we will see you on Thursday, Saturday, and Tuesday, as always. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>